Hey everybody, my name is Lowell and welcome to the channel. So we've got some more Nash car. Now somebody suggested we should do Nash car's most destructive crashes. So let's jump in and let's have a look at this one, shall we? See, Tony Stewart just pulled his way through there to get an opportunity. And he's going to have it too. Oh my God, he's right Final on this. Final corner at Daytona. Who's going to get here first? Regan Smith, seven. Keslowski, 22. Stewart, 33. Oh. And contact. Smith turned around. Tony oh God! Stewart is going to win this race and a terrible crash. Oh! And this is a big, big wreck. Big... Oh my God! He's on fire. Larson's car with the front end severely torn off. Oh my God! That is the engine out of the 32 car. That's in the grandstand side. Oh my God! That oh, no, is no. in the grandstand. Also, Holy! As the field came to the checkered flag, watch the white 32 car. 32. Oh. Oh, dang. Caught up right on that fence. Well, I guess that's why they had that again, massive Kyle fence. Did climb from that machine. You heard from him a minute ago. Oh, dang. Oh. 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 Oh, damn. How many times did he flip that? Here they come off the corner. And Daryl Walter is trying to go back. I mean, it didn't look like much. It's just like a little tap. But that's all it takes. They're going so fast. Oh, my God. Gripped into the wheel. Man. Turned over. Now that... They're not. Are they required to run the skirts on the no. right side of the cars here, like they do at Daytona and Talladega? I don't believe so. Yeah. And uh, you can see that once, once the air got up under the right side What's of the that, car, what's that? Ten, eleven, twelve way. times. Damn. Yeah, he's got to get to the top. The top's going to have the biggest energy here. Mm -hmm. Twenty-one's going to come with a huge shove. They are two and three wide behind him. Crossover. Oh, 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 oh. Big crash. Up oh. And over. Caution is out. Oh my God! That's Myatt Snyder. Man, you know, to, to see Myatt just walk right out—that's a, a great sign. Oh, and, and I'd okay. be anxious to see that's how good. close it was at Ooh. the time of caution. Because look right here, it looks like the 16's out front. Who? It had to be really close. Oh my God! The caution wasn't out at that point when they left our screen, so he was clearly ahead. By the time you left the bottom of your monitors on wow, television, when you but see it in slow motion, Fredo getting into the back of the 31 and creating that issue. Oh my God! Wow! I mean, look at that Gosh. car. Wow! Look at the grass. There's the nothing. It's Where's only the middle the bit left. That's it. Oh wow! <laughs> the wow. And he walked away from that. Holy Not bad Lord. crash here at Talladega. Just a oh, very, oh, very oh, oh, oh. Mark Martin is involved. So is Rusty Wallace, Brett Bodine, and Elton Sawyer. One car overturned in the banking of turn number one, got up into the catchment, and came back onto the racetrack. I don't know who it was at the moment, but this is a very, very ugly-looking crash. Okay, Martin goes a little high oh, there. Dang. Gordon gets into him. They both have to back off, and then the jamming up starts, and they get into, into the wall the... on the outside. Yeah. The other starts jockeying around. There's Derek Cope. He thought he got Oh, dang. Smashed straight in. Mark Martin's going to come right back up in front of him. And is that Ricky Craven? Yes, it is. Ricky Craven in car number 41 that's flipping over, went up against the outside wheel fence, oh. back down on the track, and was hit again. That's the crumpled hulk of wow. Ricky Craven's engine. How the hell do you walk away from that? Carburetor having been sheared away, some of the intake crushed, and the engine pushed completely to the left. But look at what's left of his beautiful Chevrolet Monte Carlo. Well, there's not much, of course. The roll cage, though, remained intact. This cage did its by job. Mark Laughlin did its job. Wow. There were some openings here where it had been ripped open by the catch fence. Keep the camera. Look at Jimmy. Yeah, right there. We could keep both these battles in this shot. Great job, guys. Down oh, the stretch. Oh, look out. Oh. Kurt's into the wall. Boyer's in it as well. And Kurt's getting the worst. Oh. Of it. Like a little bump drafting going on right there. We're trying to gain the advantage. Oh, he's lucky he didn't he flip that. Oh, oh my God. Man, look at this car. Oh, man. Oh, is that the engine? Sadler, that's and look at this gosh. engine. Is oh, my God. Thing. 
Well, That's the whole suspension. Oh my God! Part of the front suspension. The window net is down for Elliot. He's got the helmet off already. That is the best news. Oh, well, that's good. At least he's, well, he doesn't look too good, but at least he's. Oh, man. Oh. I see this. Look at the front of that oh, car. Oh, engine completely out of the car. Okay. Let's. Uh, we, we think we've seen an angle. Uh, check the lower right of your screen. Oh, my right. God. Oh, oh, my gosh. Oh. Head on into that Armco. That's down, that's down in a 90-degree corner. There are 43 Ow. drivers in this field tonight, but no one has a more fascinating story to tell than Mike Harmon. Now, before you see this video, there are two things you should know. One, no one was seriously injured. And two, oh, wow. that's because of the safety measure, measures legislated into these cars and the guys back at the shop that build them. Take a look at what happened here in Bush Series practice on Thursday. Mike Harmon comes off of turn two, hits oh. the crossover gate, and then slams into the wall. His car is hit by Johnny Sauter. Here it is again. The car virtually disintegrates. Oh, God, I thought Sauter that was a person. Left. One more time. You can see the driver's compartment inside the roll cage. That's what protected Harmon. Then Sauter comes by wow. and hits what's left of the car. Moments later, the miracle. Mike Harmon climbed out of that car uninjured. Track officials said Holy the crossover gate was not properly secured at the time. Mike Harmon starts 42nd tonight with a provisional, and Dave Burns is with him. Here comes Dylan Dyke into the bottom wow. of the racetrack. Austin Dillon dies to the bottom of the racetrack. Here's Keslowski trying to make the move on Logano. Logano throws the block. Logano leads down the back straightaway. Keslowski's in line. Oh, and no. He oh, it. he touched him. Penske cars crash. Keslowski oh, is up in a ball of flames. Oh, my up into God. The outside wall. He'll take Kyle Busch with him. Everybody now racing off the corner in a horrific crash on the final lap of the Daytona 500. Caution is on the speedway. Caution is on oh, the speedway. Speedway oh. will wait and see who was the race leader when the caution flag came out. They have the stop video that determines who. Oh is my God! He just touched when the him. caution is called. Now Man, they are racing so frame so, by yeah. frame, trying Damn. to determine, and it's tough. They are three wide with wow, Chase fireball. Elliott, Austin Dillon, and Michael McDowell waiting on NASCAR race control to determine exactly who the winner of the Daytona 500 is. But a horrific crash over there. I can tell you, Brad got out of the race car, as Mike Bagley described. Oh. Kyle Busch also got out of the race car. Under that his number own two power. car. Oh my God. Over at turn two, Michael Waltrip has hit the wall hard. The car is upside down. And you can see the car is really torn up. Oh, my God. Well, Jerry, I said it's, it's sort of on its side or... Yeah, oh, what the heck? It is upside down. Oh, yeah, upside They're down. They're fixing up it. that gate where Michael hit over there. Let's take a look one more time and give that Kool-Aid man on the hood of that Pontiac a wild ride. Now, just coming out of turn two, that's the crossover gate, and Michael hits the juncture of the oh, gate and the concrete wall that begins the back straightaway. The car is literally sawed open, and you see the steering wheel now sticking out to the left side of the car, and this is what's left of Michael Waltrip's Kool-Aid Country Time Pontiac. Out of the second turn and down the back. Oh, turns. that's Walter oh. and Alan Kowicki leading this. Oh, look at Earnhardt got sideways. Somebody looked like made some contact. Uh oh, we got uh -oh. a problem. Uh oh, uh -oh. Sure. Walter oh, 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 Darrell, he's down on the inside of Kowicki, and Joe Rutman right behind him. Now here comes Earnhardt. Looks like someone had tapped him. But oh, then, Kowicki came down and touched oh. Darrell. Threw him back into Rutman. Rutman gets in the side of him. Oh, and then my here's God. The road they, they hit that grass yeah. on he hits speed. The road, it gets him airborne. Oh, the car damn. starts over. Of course, he was get, being pushed by the car number 75. That was just a... a circumstance there mcmurray oh look out oh, oh. contact with a 32 mcmurray says hey i was in front the last time you took it away from me earlier today he's going to try and take it away oh, from him. he's hung in the middle oh, here he goes he's got trouble now keselowski's got oh, 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 look out they're oh, going to go around mcmurray oh, oh, oh. Going up into the wall oh damn look out 
The caution is out. The race will finish. Oh, when you see and this, it looks the like flames, you just think, oh my is God. Going to get the race win. Bring it here. Bring it here. Oh, it's good to see that right there. Oh, okay. That is Dennis Setzer. As, boy, Man, that car lead, is boy. torn up. See McMurray trying to get in line right here, right behind Harvard. Just not enough room. Yeah. yeah and he had to check yeah. up for just a second oh. because he was on the rear, right rear quarter of Kevin Harvick. And then once he goes around, the he actually got out, out of it pretty lightly. The other oh. cars got smashed up. Good to see oh him get out of that car, but that catch fence does its job. Into the trail, but they come. Dale Earnhardt Jr. to the bottom of the track. Jr. will win in Daytona. Oh, who was that? And the oh big one happens behind them. Oh my God! Oh my God! Look at them all. Oh my God! They're still crashing. Austin Dillon into the catch fence. All the crews oh my God, getting out to the half again to assist these drivers. Thumbs going up from all the crew members and the crowd roars. Here we go. You can see him on the bottom. Rex starts in front. He runs in the back of the 24. Oh. Gets up on the 11. Now he's on top of the 50.5. Now it's just a long. Oh run. my God! Yeah. Right Watch the, the car stop. Damn. Watch the car stop. It gets into those poles, and it goes from I don't know what 180, 190 miles an hour. I'm just guessing to a complete stop. That is unbelievable. Oh yeah. my God! Looks, Imagine if that like fence that's wasn't there. Holy! 500 pounds. That that stock car is extremely heavy. You see here after he's upside down, the two is, is spinning. Obviously, he's already lost control. Makes more contact with the three. Just staying up high going in the wow. corner. He's not following the truck. The truck in front of him. Don't know what's going on. Wait, now. is that you? Whoa. Oh, look out. We got what trouble. the hell? This is going to hurt. Oh. Oh, my. Oh, damn. Oh, my. Oh. Yep. Keep your fingers crossed. Holy There is no way he survived that. And it was so good for so long, it turned into so bad so quickly. We'll be back to see what happened. Uh, and as I said, keep your fingers crossed, folks. Uh, what the? What? What the hell happened? Oh, my God. That last one, if anybody knows, let me know. Let me know. Um, some of them look horrific, you know, the speed involved, the fireballs, you know, engines getting ripped out and half across strewn across the field. But it, I think it's a testament to, as that guy said, who I don't know the name of, um, uh, the safety precautions that are, you know, legislated into this, um, into this sport, which is obviously a good thing. Um, they can still go out there. They can still go full bore, you know, race to your heart's content. But when the crap hits the fan, all those safety measures are in place and you get horrific crashes like that, you know, and they're walking away. Um, it looks horrific. I mean, if you were a race official or, you know, your husband in the race or your son or whatever else, that looks horrific. You know, your heart would be in your throat the whole time watching this race. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Um, intense. I mean, like he said, it can go right for so long, but go wrong so quickly. Good God. Oh, my God. That was intense. That was intense. Um, yeah, as I said, those some of those crashes. Oh, man. As you, said, you know, it goes from, what, 180 miles, which is that, what's that, 250Ks an hour to, to a dead stop hitting that fence. Lucky that fence is up there, right? Jeez. You can imagine if one of those cars got through that fence and into the, the stands, into the stadium. Dang, I would not like to see that at all. But um, that was good. That was good. Kind of... um. 
on the edge of your seat watching that you know all these crashes and just like oh my god um like those two cars going across the grass you just knew one of them was going to start flipping um you know and then they just build at that speed and it's like 10 12 flips in the car oh oh that was very interesting to watch thank you very much for suggesting it you know who you are um that was good that was really good I enjoyed that uh enjoyed it in a way that you know as a spectator but obviously you know obviously glad that everybody you know most people walked away um somewhat unhurt so and again as i said you know a testament to the to the safety precautions um wow we've got to see some more of that eh? Whew. intense very intense so guys let me know if you enjoyed that thank you very much for joining us today make sure you stay safe and i will definitely see in the next reaction video did you enjoy that video why not watch another one